Hey guys, it's John. I'm back from my break. I took a week off. Some of you guys probably didn't even notice. That's okay. I uploaded a video about it, so you can review things that happened in the past if you so choose. We're going to be starting off today's video with M is for Murder. This is a free horror game on Itch.io, and we're going to check it out. First of three games we're going to be checking out today. Four years. Four years I've been chasing this bastard. Alias, Alphabet Killer. So what, he kills letters? Why is this an issue? Identity unknown. I know I'm closing in on this guy. Or maybe that's just what he wants me to think. So many sleepless nights, pointless stakeouts, and Chinese takeouts. They rhymed that. Don't know why. Sometimes I wonder if it's really worth it. Well, not gonna throw away four years of hard work now. Our hardened detective hero. I'm excited to get to know him better. Notes, I should start searching towards the eastern wing of the building. Everyone knows where the eastern wing is, right? According to my records, that's where he should be located. Press tab to view notebook. I think if I got an actual note, IRL, that said press tab to view notebook, I'd be a little freaked out. So maybe that's part of the horror. So this guy is supposedly located in the eastern wing of the building. So why, why haven't they been apprehended yet? If everyone just knows where they are. The radio is super annoying. This? I didn't even notice it till you said something. Press F to, what's going, press F to turn on flashlight. Can we turn off the rate, the super annoying radio? It's not really bothering me. Oh. Hi there. Thirsty. The Slipknot auditions are next door, I'm afraid. You're in the wrong place. His head's following me. Press E to interact. What, with this person? Why do I want to interact with this dude? He's pointing at the wall. I guess he could be pointing at the door too. Send it to the moon. Is it that bad? It's not really selling it to me. Okay. Get this thing off my planet, it's so bad. Hi. Is that your friend out there? Are you guys auditioning together? The odds of you both making it is very small. Meeting in the East Wing. Four, all CLA members to be present. One, ask Jenny to make sure all prerequisite documents are printed and handed out. Five, make sure to stock coffee supplies. Seven, call Kevin. So I guess this is a code for something. 4157. Thanks for the code. Um, okay. Why didn't it work? Oh, it did work. Oh, good. We're all cleared up then. 4157, I got that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that tickles me. Hey man, can I ask you a question? What? <laughs> uh, it's like I said something rude to him and he snapped to attention immediately. The super annoying radio is still going. Oh, good. Help desk. Hi, I'd like to check in. Okay. Oh, I saved the note in my notebook. Cool. Found this note in the maintenance area. That didn't look like a maintenance area, but whatever. Hi. Wow, I can't wait to go in there. Um, what is it? Four, one, five, seven. I hacked in. I'm super smart. <gasps> The yellow eyes mannequin disappeared. Uh-oh. Hey, I got news for you, buddy. When customers are at the desk, it's your job to intercept them. You're the receptionist, right? So yeah, you're fired. That's right. Get on out of here. They seem to take it well. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh. Oh no, they're moving. Oh, they're grieving. Is this like a weird mannequin funeral? I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, we'll all we'll all be together someday in mannequin heaven, I guess. What is this? Uh, press E to pick up gun. Press space to equip gun. Hurry. Hurry. Oh no. 
Oh, oops. What? I think when the thing's bugging out, it's a little difficult to <laughs> to shoot them. Okay. Well, I guess they're part of like some mannequin cult, and they all want to just end this life together. Okay. Well, I'm happy to grant that wish. So many headshots. Love it. I'll reload. Um, oh my god, I have so much ammo. I have a lot. And we're outside. Okay. So where's the alphabet killer? Are they around here somewhere? Security. Do I need a key card? <gasps> I need a key. Oh, I need another code. Is it not 4157? <laughs> Denied. Well, that's fine. Oh, wait! 4514! What? It, just, it was just written right there! 4154! Written by the dev? Kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. Storage. More of this crappy iced mint stuff that people want to send off planet. This is something creepy. Oh, look! They're running around. They're running towards me. Were those rounds? Yeah, I got 45 of them. Do you guys even know where you're going? No, they're just kind of stumbling around, aren't they? Uh, let's go into storage. Yeah? Wait, is there something else I'm supposed to be obtaining here? Uh, check faculty... Or faulty main switch. Book mariachi band. Come up with beater things to put here. Was that the dev? <laughs> was that the dev saying that to themselves? What I just do? I flipped a switch. I don't know what it did. Do I do I go out now? I think maybe. Oh hi. Hey look. I think I got him. I couldn't even see him, though. Okay. Hello. Is there a note here? You've ruined everything. I prepared a tea party just for you. Now the tea's gone cold. Oh, no. You've died. The hands of a mannequin. Is that... <laughs> that sounds like the hands of a mannequin wrote me a note that says, You've died. Um... So I'm not sure what that's all about. Restart. Am I starting all the way at the beginning? Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Now can I finally read this stupid note? Oh. Wait, how'd they come back? Oh, whatever. Hang on. I'll, I'll clear out this room first. Any other mannequins here? Huh? Any other? Oh, hey, there's one. Yeah, now you're really fired. Can't work when you're dead, am I right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this then. Uh, P.S. I found the gun in your house while you were sleeping. Your locks are crap. Fix them. You lied to your C.O. about getting the gun service. Knock knock. A. Had you been on time, no one would have gotten hurt. Uh, okay. Well, so that's that's from the alphabet killer, I guess, because it's signed A. Let's go find them. I want to meet the alphabet killer. I should try turning the power back on again. Oh, okay. Here I go. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on. There's one right here. You gotta shoot them in the head, but... They... <laughs> they duck and weave. Bob and weave? That's, that's what it's called. Okay, I turned the power back on again. So now, we're good, right? What else is gonna happen here? Is this... Go outside. Nice! I don't think so. Oh! Here? Where do we go? Where's the alphabet killer? Am I the alphabet killer? I bet I'm the alphabet killer.
Oh, the alphabet killer locked me inside with the mannequins. Oh, this is the demo for Emma's for Murder. Oh, I wasn't aware. Oh, that's it. Well, that was Emma's for Murder. I came back. Came back at the right time. Belle did not like that game, my dog. She's upset. Okay, moving on. Our second horror game of the video is Exposure. This just came out this week. It's $4 on Steam, and it looks like kind of one of those PT ask walking simulator games. Oh no. Oh, it's this map. HQ Residential House, one of the most popular assets on the Unity Store. If you didn't know how many times I've run into this map, here's a quick reminder. You know, Whoa, wait, this reminds me of Anatomy. If you guys remember that game Anatomy that I played on the channel by Kitty Horror Show? It's a very similar house structure. And it's this house again. HQ Residential House on the Unity Store. Hey guys, it's John, and today we're playing Magdalena. This is $3 on Steam, and we're gonna check it out. And this is exactly the same house. Are you kidding me? Guys, I have decided that horror games were a mistake. I am going to be playing a lighthearted comedy game called Need for Drink. It's a dollar on Steam, and the goal of the game is to get drunk before your wife comes home. This is the exact same house. Um, I'm guessing that at the top of the stairs, there's a master bedroom to the right with a bathroom and walk-in closet attached. <gasps> How did I know? I should be on TV shows. I need to do psychic readings for the audience. I have a special talent, guys. There's a bathroom to the left. Oh, how did he do it? There's a room across the hall that has a washer and a dryer in it. Not this one. Uh, there it is. And there's two bedrooms at the end of the hall. Uh, I'm gonna say one has a bunk bed. Probably the one on the left. But I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. Are you guys? Ooh, did you feel a chill down your spine? I'm getting kind of freaked out. I'm getting deja vu. Feel like I may have seen this exact layout somewhere before. Okay, so what are they gonna do with this map this time? At least there's other houses visible. Why can't this game be in one of those? One of those games where you can't sprint, of course. That door's locked. Now, this game is called Exposure, but of course it's different from another game that I played called Exposure. I actually liked that one a bit. This one, I hope it's good. So, I guess we'll access the laptop. Creepy desktop dude. Uh, what's the password? HQ. Residential house. Nope, that's that's not it. It kind of locked me out. It wouldn't even say <laughs> How many characters I was typing? Okay uh, Read it, please. It's been about two or three weeks since Lily got a fever and things keep getting worse and worse every day Doctors and I don't know what's going on with her the, the dreams that she keeps seeing every night doesn't make any sense and her behavior constantly changing she could just become aggressive for no reason. The next day, she was feeling sorry. The whole situation is just a terrible dream, but the only difference, it's not a dream. Plot twist. These things seem easy when you're looking a mile away, but when it comes to you, the whole world turns upside down. So the translation on that is not great, but I think we get the gist. Can I interact with these drawers? Is there anything in them? No. Because of course there isn't. Okay. All right. What a waste of time. Oh, oh, there's something there. Oh my God, there's something there. Read. Password from my laptop, 11410. Okay, okay, 11410. Let's walk there. I heard a thud. Let's uh, put in the password. 
Okay. One one four one zero. One one four one zero. There we go. It's weird that it took that long. Photos. I what? I can't see anything here. What is this? Look at the clock. There's a clock there. Very hard to see. Okay, go look at the clock. Anyone remember where the clock is? Okay, I found another one. And please. Today, Lily insisted that I take her to church. I don't believe in the supernatural and other stuff like that, but when we entered the building, she just threw up. It's hard to stay sane when something like that has happened. That happens in front of your eyes. When we got home, Lily surprisingly became feel better. She even began to smile more than usual. I don't know, was it church or just her mind? Anyway, it's great to see her in a good mood. Huh. Uh-huh. Good. Did these open? I've opened every drawer in the house, I think. And I found two notes, but nothing else. This drawer opens. None of these other ones do. Can I go in the garage yet? Aha! Uh -huh. Found another note. Dear Mr. Blake, I have the good and the bad news for you. The good news is that there are no signs of dangerous or any diseases that our people could find. The bad news is that there's no explanation of what the cause of the fever could be. But do not give up. There's still under consideration psychological reasons like anxiety, stress, or simply overwork. We could rerun some tests if you decide, but for now, I don't have much to say. <laughs> Respectfully, Dr. Aaron Brooks. Thanks, Dr. Aaron. Oh, you can crouch. Here we go. These dreams keep getting back. The same place and time. I was in my children's room, but it didn't look like when I was young. It was an old and eerie place with scratches on the walls and broken windows. It was cold, and moreover, it felt like the time itself is stopped and will never keep going again. I turned around and saw my mother was lying on the bed with the blood in her eyes. She was dead. Suddenly, I got the strange feeling like someone was watching me from behind. The creeps went through my body and I couldn't move. I realized that she was behind me and I began to cry. I felt the tears on my face, but still couldn't move or scream. Her fingers slowly touched my neck and I woke up from the unbearable fear. I'm still getting that fear whenever I think about those dreams. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, it's a key. Key to a door. We can finally go somewhere else now. Let me in. Okay. Something is in the garage. We should steer clear. I don't want to go in there anyway. That's fine. Let's open up. Oh, wait. There's going to be a closet to the right. Window straight ahead. Boxes. Yep. Okay. How did he know? How did he know? Okay. It's a, the White House. Not the White House. <laughs> Looks like it. But it's not. What happened just now? <laughs> we were out of breath for a period of about five seconds. Now we're good, though. Oh, the drawers are closed. Oh, no, don't tell me I got to open them all back up. Wow, they're recycling the same environment. Uh, of course, it was a waste of time. Oh, wait, there was a key? We're already off to a good start. Open the closet, can't open it. And that note's gone, so I guess there's different items now. Oh, we can interact with the safe now. I don't know the combination, though. So we'll have to find that. <gasps> Bedroom. It looks like there's no bunk beds this time. So, but there will be a closet on the right. Okay. Yep. I should have specified double closet. Thanks. William, if you're reading this, then I'm most likely dead. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. You did for me more than I could imagine. It was too late and I couldn't resist anymore. It wasn't the sister that I remember. Now that was something other. I'm afraid that it will come to you. Please, you must leave and never return to this house and forget about me. You have the opportunity to start your life from scratch. Thank you for your kindness and support. I will always love you. 
What a nice note. Some thrumming. And the door closed. I don't think that had the effect that they intended. Lights are flickering. So we have a key and the only thing it opens, well, it could open that, but the only thing else it could open is the garage. And I think that's where the thing is. The evil monster, probably a ghost of our sister or something. I just figure out that the woman of my dreams is my sister. I don't know any words to describe what I feel right now. I was 11 when she killed our mother and father. Yeah, dream girl material right there. Parent murderer. She got the father's rifle. You mean your father? And shot them dead in the middle of the night, but she didn't kill me. Since then, I haven't heard about her. Ah, oh, but she's the, she's the woman of your dreams, though. You haven't... You haven't heard from her since she killed your parents. Woman of your dreams. Somebody was sitting here. Oh, it's blocking me. So the developer was sitting here like, oh no, what if they try to go in the kitchen from this side? And then they found a great solution. I'll just block it. Oh, was there something there? Looked like there was. Was this open? Hi. There's no light switches in this house. Why? There's no car either. Another key. Hmm. But why though? Oh, I thought I saw somebody. That was that was kind of neat. Okay. So we have so what, what could the key possibly open? Besides maybe like the front door. I got to open up all these drawers just in case. So I guess our sister's back. She's still bloody from that time she killed our parents. <laughs> Somehow she got away with it. Okay, there's nothing in the drawers. Does the key go to the front door? Don't go to the front door. It doesn't. So what could the key possibly go to? Oh, the key went to the safe and there's nothing in it. No, no, there is. I thought we had to have a combination for the safe, but instead the safe opens with a key. Oh, let's go in. Hi. Hi. This is the key. Open. What well, does the key go to? Surely it doesn't go to anything in here. Does it go to the front door? It does. Why does the key go to the front door? Are you locked inside? Is that it? Two months later. What, so I'm in my apartment? If they just have that same model standing in a doorway somewhere. And then fade to black. Credits roll. Oh man, I'm gonna lose it. If this is the only thing I can interact with is the door. And it's locked. Um, there are plates. Can I go out to the balcony? This is a pretty swank place, man. Wait. 
Almost two months passed since, by since the nightmare I've been through. I've got this off my chest and sold the house, though I still can't throw Lily out of my mind. I miss her. Why? You miss the murderer child that you never actually knew? Ah, I miss her. Okay. Yeah, so I, I found that, right? Is there any... Ah, there's a key. Uh, all right. Why are we leaving, though? Turn around. She's there. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's a photograph on It's the same one. Yeah, same one. Cool. So this is her calling card or something? There she is in the reflection. She came back to finish the job? Is there any reason why she didn't just kill him when they were kids? Thank you for playing. Yeah, you better thank me for wasting my time. All right, our final horror game of the video is the demo for an upcoming horror game called Infliction. This game is currently on Kickstarter, and there's a link to that in the description. I don't know how good it is yet, but they're only looking for about 9,000 bucks, which is pretty light for Kickstarter. So I'm sure it's definitely doable. Let's go ahead and start the demo if you want to contribute. If you watch this and you think, I want to contribute. Don't do it now because you don't know if it's crap or not. Could be good. Please be good. This world is the place between places where there can be only sadness and resolution. This is where the lost find themselves and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent death. That's from the Necronomicon. Abaddon Volume 3. Abaddon? I don't know. I'm stuck at the gate. Are you okay? Yeah. Just the two of us in here. See you soon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Friday nights, am I right? New objective, find a way to vanquish the spirit. What spirit? What? Is there a spirit? There's a big sale at Big Jim's Appliances this weekend. Neat. We also have a movie called Moon. We are not alone. Okay. Wow, you can pick up everything. That's kind of cool. Too often I open drawers like this in indie horror games and you just can't pick up anything. You can only look. The uh, Rods of Power. Life is a storm. Okay. I guess that's one way to look at it. 1st of June, 1990. I asked him today what he does down there. He just stared at me silently with pure hatred. I don't understand how this happened. I don't know him anymore and sometimes he scares me. He spends all of his time in that basement. Next time he does a beer run, I'm going to sneak down there and look for myself. Trust Gary. The man I'm living with isn't Gary anymore. I have to keep Maggie safe. If nothing else. So I'm guessing Maggie's their daughter. Fucking Gary, man. This guy. Never met a nice guy named Gary. They're always trouble. Okay. In a minute. Let's see, it's 3.43 a.m. Uh, Vento. It's an, it's an inhaler. I guess we have asthma or something. I'm trying to decide if I want to read this or not. Oh, oh I don't want to read this. Uh, 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 so much to read. I like that artwork, though. Chapter 2, The Grim. 
Something about smelling sulfur. I really hate to, I hate when people do this, but if you want to read it, you can pause it. I'll read it if it's like a page or less. This is just a lot. Okay. Yeah, good. So this is where we sleep, huh? Kind of rinky dink. But I guess we have a roof over our heads. Thank you. Excuse me. Get out of my way. Um. Cool. We, we can activate the life switches. Uh, I called them life switches because that's what they are. That was an intentional misstep on my part. Trick or treat Halloween party. Pleasant Falls. Anything with a name like Pleasant Falls, steer clear. Gary Pout. Uh, your title will be Junior Security Officer. You will report to the Regional Security Manager. This is from All Seeing Eye Security. I know I just said that I would read if it was a page or less, but the company will pay you a starting salary at the rate of $6,000 per year. Oh, 1981. I was about to say, that is crap. <laughs> If you're a security officer getting paid 6000 a year, you're not putting your ass on the line for anything. Not worth it. What is this? Oh, Zupa Cell. My favorite brand. Tall Pines Gallery. Dear Sarah, thanks for writing us in regards to featuring your artwork. So she's an artist. Unfortunately, all slots have already been filled. Hmm. So, okay, so he she, he's a security officer. She's an artist, but she was rejected. Paracetamol plus codeine. I see. Nighttime sleep. Hey. If you got trouble sleeping, good to get help. There's just loose batteries. You animals. Where are the containers? Wait, no, I want to look at that picture. Is that Sarah? She's not bad. No, come on. Okay. I can look at the bell. I can look at the sticky note. Call Mike about how to change code. Uh-oh. What's the code? I just want to see. Thank you. Okay, yeah, she's a witch. Neat. Sarah, Halloween, 1985. High chair for toddlers. Wait, are we getting the high chair out? Are you a baby? Need your high chair, baby. This is uh, Rods of Power again, so I guess they have two cassettes of the same thing. Thank God for you. Praise him. Okay, so they're religious. Grief and loss. Oh, Maggie's dead. Their daughter's dead. Gary killed them. Video game. <laughs> sea Attack. That's my favorite title. A lot of medical problems. See, that moment just now was like 10 times more effective than anything we played in Exposure, the previous game. With that said, I do want to go in there. Some hog in the bathroom, Sarah. Okay. I can't run, so you just have to wait. She's here. Yeah, no, I just saw her. I wasn't confused about that. I got it straight, man. I understand. Ooh, okay. Hi, Silent Hill 4. Damn. Okay, so we got one, two, three locks. That's not bad. What does it say? 199K? It could be backwards, I guess. Well, we'll get to that when we need a code for something. Uh, open the fridge. Uh, wow. Look at this. Ox beer. I love that brand. Canned whiskey. I've never had canned whiskey before. It's always in a bottle. That's kind of cool. Yeah. See, there's the door. But it's different than the one in reality. That's neat. 
Okay, no, but we need to find some keys. Uh, we need to get moving on this. I'm coming! I'm on my way. Okay. Now these open. Why would you have this hanging in your home? There's an X there. Oh, poor little baby. <laughs> Garage. <laughs> That's not how you spell it. Four, three, five, five. That was under S. I know that this is how it works. This is really cool. Oh, it's just a shadow. Okay. Oh, he looks a little weird in that photo. <laughs> she is too, to be clear. Well, I didn't make any progress though. I have a code 4355 and I don't know what to use it on. Keep out, that's what it says. Keep out. Yeah, well, there's no way I can get in there, buddy. There's four locks. I haven't found any keys. Wow, I'm an idiot. I, even, I didn't even think to do that. I thought it was just like, uh, hey, look. Isn't it creepy? It's not what it appears to be. That's kind of cool, though. So we're going down to the basement already. Let's do this. Oh. Okay, here it goes. Of course there's a ritual down here. Freaking Gary, man. Hmm. How's this supposed to stay on your head? There's no strap. Dark power and energy is transferred through you into an object or focused on a task. The spells contained within this book are a link for you to learn the intricacies of wielding such power. Spell books are for training and knowledge only. Once you're fully accomplished in the dark arts, you will no longer need spells and rituals, for they're a means to uh, visualize and focus the energy in a direction. That does not mean this book should be taken lightly. The contents of this book are dangerous and should always be treated with respect. To commune with the dead. Ah, uh, that's what he was trying to do. Trying to commune with his dead daughter, Maggie. One must open their mind and perception to the ghostly fields of the ethereal. The world of the specters and the world of flesh are only separated by a very thin veil head up, held up by faith on a false idol. Once you give yourself over, you will stride both worlds. This alone is not enough to speak with the specter. You'll simply be open to it. The rite of scripture will need to be performed before you can summon the specter to you. Performing such rituals is forbidden in most cultures. One day on earth is equal to an eternity of... Of what? Leave me on a cliffhanger there. This ritual is often used in conjunction with other rituals to complete a rite. First, you will need to find a living creature. <laughs> okay, done. Right? Any creature will do, but the larger the creature, the more effective the ritual. Face south and chant. Etheria me dedero. Tole animam miam. Repeat these words for the re remainder of the ritual. Drain the life from the creature until it has crossed over into a receptacle. Looks like this ritual was already done based on what we found. Drink every last drop. This concludes something ritual of sacrifice probably is what it means to say. Is that the last page? Oh no. Oh my God, there's so much to read. 
Objective complete. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. Oh, okay. Angry spirits are born from violent death. New objective, get out of the basement. Well, hang on. I'm still reading. These souls are bound to the world of flesh until they're ready to let go. There is one ritual that can be performed by the one the spirit is bound to. The ritual can be performed in the world of specters or flesh, but must be performed by the one directly responsible to, to the demise of the angry spirit. This ritual will show their spirit the passage to where they truly belong, offering some form of peace. To complete this ritual, you'll need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Uh, it's written in any part of the remains. Body of the deceased. Oh, okay. Any part of the body. Image of the deceased. Clothing worn in the eyes of God. So there's Sunday best. An object of ancestral sentimentality. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got that. I have several objects of ancestral sentimentality in my garage. Once collected, clean the objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. I see. Sorry guys, I mispronounced garage. It's pronounced garage. What? We're not alone. Oh. <laughs> um, there's no place for me to go. And we'll just hide here till she's gone. It's kind of impossible to see. She gone? How did I bleed from that? Did I get stabbed? She shanked me, man. Oh. That was supposed to happen? If you're hearing this, I am dead. It wasn't always like this. I had everything. Bright future, love, happiness, a family. Then the darkness seeped in like a cold oh, damp from, from below. below. I have seen the face of evil, and if there is one thing I've learned, the world you know is only the beginning. Carmen's a bitch, and so I promise you this. You will understand your sins, and you will reap what you sow. Coming Halloween 2018. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Probably the best game we played in this set. And it wasn't even a full game, it was just a demo. Thanks for playing the Affliction demo, you just experienced a very small slice from the full game. Trust me, it gets weirder. Well, hopefully. It wasn't that weird. Infliction is in development and will be launching soon. In the meantime, it would be super helpful if you'd sign up to our mailing list. Okay. Sure. All right, well, that was the Infliction demo. Very small slice, for sure. The only cool thing I can say is the mirror transportation between worlds is pretty neat. Uh, I liked some of the ambiance and the atmosphere a bit. I wish I had seen more. I think having the trailer at the end of the demo showing things that weren't in the demo was a good move. I haven't seen a demo do that before, but it makes sense <laughs> to have that. I liked the butcher with the cleaver. That was pretty neat. 
is a cool enemy. I hope that they're a prominent part of the full game. But, uh, yeah, not, not bad. It's just, it's a very, very small portion of gameplay. It's hard to make uh, judgment from it, but I didn't mind it, and it was certainly better than exposure. Oh my gosh. Uh, what else did we play in this video? What was the first game we played? I've already forgotten. It was that mannequin one. That was okay. M is for murder. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean... Not, not a great set of three games, but I guess I'm glad I played them. Let me know what you thought in the comments about the three games that I played in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.